Meg lost two thirds of the payment for a podcast as Dawn Ostroff fired from Spotify. Bill Simmons won $200 million deal. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's podcast is at risk as Spotify is forced to make cuts after overspending on signing high profile contributors to the platform. Meanwhile, Meghan has yet to receive all of a payment from the Archetypes podcast. Spotify announced on Monday that it's laying off roughly 200 employees, or around 2% of its person workforce, as part of an effort to change how the company handles its partnership with leading podcasters from across the globe. The cuts were announced by Spotify Vice President Saha Elabashi in a memo to employees. Those impacted by the cuts will be provided with generous severance packages, Elabashi said. Dawn Ostroff, who is responsible for leading the negotiations on Meghan and Harry's three-year deal with Spotify, worth an estimated £15 million, had left the company. X said, In hindsight, I probably got a little carried away and over-invested relative to the uncertainty we saw shaping up in the market. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry signed their deal with Spotify in late 2020. However, sources reveal that Meghan only received a third of the payment for production costs. The rest of the money from failed podcasts, Spotify is keeping to invest in more potential projects. Since the beginning of the year, Spotify executives who've been responsible for podcast content directly or indirectly on archetypes include Max Cutler, head of talk creator content and partnerships, and Dawn Ostroff, chief content and advertising officer. Those two top executives probably involved in the archetypes decision making them already sacked within the first half of the year. Signing the Harkles at the price they paid without knowing for sure what the content was going to be and how difficult it would be to produce content with two inexperienced and unprofessional people was just flat out ridiculous. I feel sorry for the ones who lost their jobs, the people who didn't have anything to do with this fiasco. Megan's getting a podcast with Spotify was such a huge break for her. Not them, they can live without her. But Megan could have, if she had the skill and inclination, turned this into a success. But what did she do? Basically came in and read her part, leaving others to do the interviewing and planning and putting it all together, while being allegedly a huge pain to all who tried to work with her. She has a short supply of talent as well, not to mention famous and influential friends who want to talk with her on a podcast. Meanwhile, sports media founder Bill Simmons scored a massive payout from Spotify, who purchased Simmons' publication, The Ringer, for nearly $200 million. According to a filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission on Wednesday, Spotify could pay out nearly $200 million in cash over the next few years to acquire The Ringer, an online publication for sports and pop culture. Spotify disclosed that it will be between 130 and 180 million euros. Part of that payment is deferred and based on some contingencies, one of which requires Simmons to stay at the company for an unknown period of time. This is Spotify's latest move into the podcasting space in the past year, following nearly $400 million in recent acquisitions of podcast networks Gimlet Media, Parcast and Anchor. The Ringer has nearly 40 podcast titles under its belt, including a number of popular sports shows featuring Simmons that Spotify will now own.